Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome again to uh, High Level Week here in New York. Uh, I think uh, many of us are starting this day with what is a vitally important meeting, one that uh, is not only timely, uh, but I would even say uh, urgent. And I first want to thank my friend, my partner, my co-chair, uh, the Italian Foreign Minister, Antonio Tani. Thank you so much, my friend, for doing this, and to welcome our other friend and colleague, uh, the new Foreign Minister uh, of Ukraine. Welcome. Uh, it's very good to be with you today as well. Um, we have collectively, as uh, G7 and other uh, partner countries, worked to mobilize resources over the last couple of years for Ukraine, for its people, uh, to ensure that they have the energy supplies that they need and that the country can deliver those supplies to the people who, uh, who need them. Uh, just over the last couple of years, uh, going back to February of 22 and the Russian invasion, the G7 plus countries have mobilized more than $4 billion. Uh, we've had new announcements just in the past month from Germany, from the Netherlands, and others. As for the United States, uh, over $1.8 billion since February of 22. Uh, recently, we've redirected $324 million toward emergency energy sector uh, support. And uh, as well, uh, we have $500 million that were announced by Vice President Harris just this past June. Uh, and I was in Kyiv uh, with uh, my friend just uh, a couple of weeks ago with additional announcements of support uh, for more than $300 million. Now, this money is important, but what it really means is it translates into practical necessities to help our Ukrainian friends uh, get through the uh, coming months and particularly getting through the winter. Um, we have once again not just the prospect but the reality of Putin weaponizing winter, weaponizing the weather, uh, to use energy as a weapon in his efforts to subjugate Ukraine. Uh, and we know that the upcoming winter will be challenging, which is why our countries have been working together every single day to help ensure that Ukraine has what it needs to get through the winter. So today we'll discuss exactly where we are and where we need to go on an urgent basis in the days and weeks ahead, uh, repairing and replacing things that are taken out by Russian bombs and missiles, protecting uh, the different uh, facilities uh, on the grid, getting more power, uh, distributed power, uh, to Ukraine, uh, mobilizing companies to make sure that they're doing their part, uh, working with uh, the uh, Europeans and the energy grid in Europe to make even more energy available to Ukrainians. Uh, we'll discuss these and other priorities as we head into the winter, uh, but the bottom line is this. Every country around this table, and so many more, stands strongly and firmly with Ukraine. Uh, we're determined to see Ukraine's success. We're determined to support its people as they face this ongoing aggression. With that, Antonio. Good morning, everybody. The Secretary of State, Blinken, the Tony, uh, thanks for organizing this timely meeting here in New York. It's a great opportunity to discuss a very crucial issue for the people in the, in the economy of Ukraine. I welcome the presence with us today of Minister Andriy uh, Sibila. Good luck. I'm sure that we will have a fruitful cooperation. I wish to express our solidarity with the Ukrainian government and the people for the current intense Russian attacks to the energy infrastructures. The arrival of, the, of winter is imminent. Uh, we are very concerned by the situation and we reaffirm our support to Ukraine and its energy uh, sector. Energy security is also at the top of our G7 presidency. It was a very important item uh, at the G7 for a special place also at the G7 meeting that uh, I will host uh, in Fuji in Italy in November. We will host the Ukraine Recovery Conference in 2025. 20, uh, the energy sector will play an important role. Italy is strongly engaged on this. On the bilateral level, since the start of, our, of the war, we provided uh, several hundred tons of mater materials, including generators. Important Italian companies contributed with important donations. In February, we signed an agreement in Munich with the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. It's a two 
100 million euro project to restore the capacity of the main hydropower generation Ukraine company. We are working for the parliamentary ratification. In Berlin, we have announced a grant of 15 million euro for urgent measures to repair Ukraine's energy infrastructures. Our companies are ready to give uh, their contribution and uh, know-how. There, Andri, count uh, on me, count on the Italian government. Thank you. Dear friends, dear colleagues, let me express gratitude for your strong leadership, for your strong support, for your strong solidarity by providing Ukraine with uh, energy assistance. You are also providing additional energy to our people, to our fight. Russia continues its brutal strikes against our energy objects, against our energy system, endangering even nuclear facilities uh, and weaponizes energy around the world. But the leadership of G7 countries can help us to stop the aggressor, to stop Russia missile terror. We do really appreciate your support. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.